Over one year ago, I embarked on the longest Counter-Strike journey of my entire life. It spanned over two games and lasted over 400 days. But what could possibly be worth spending over one year of my life to accomplish? Let me tell you. When I was just 14 years old, I started playing CSGO, and like most other FPSs, I was not good at all. But unlike those games, CSGO had something that no other FPS had. Skins. Sure, Call of Duty had camos, but it wasn't the same. I didn't know exactly what it was about these rare virtual items that was so captivating, but I knew I had to get my hands on some. Keep in mind, this was right around the time that CSGO began its meteoric uprising. People like McSkillet started posting their first YouTube content, and Fat Man started yelling at Case. <laughs> Somehow, Valve had cracked the code. Everyone and their brother was playing CSGO, and seemingly everyone wanted to get their hands on skins too. I was no different. Less than three months after downloading the game, I bought my first case in hopes of unboxing the rarest item of them all, a knife. Like most, I did not get lucky. I realized very quickly that opening cases was a money sink, and soon after decided to just buy the skins I wanted instead. I was young and broke, and not legally allowed to have a job yet, so I started small with the money that I did have by buying my favorite play skins, like the M4 Dragon King and the USPS Orion. But my love for the game only increased, and just over a year after downloading the game, I purchased my first ever knife. I remember this being such a great feeling, that is, until I was eventually scammed, but we don't have to talk about that. But I always had the thought in the back of my mind, imagine how amazing it would feel to unbox a knife that I could truly call my own. I didn't let these thoughts get the better of me though. And like any true Counter-Strike player, I instead decided to make the financially responsible decision of quitting the game. For the rest of my childhood years, I of course came back for a few months annually and bought a few cases here and there, but I still never got lucky. This cycle went on as usual until my senior year of college when I really started playing the game consistently again. After about six months of playing daily and burning a dollar amount that I truly don't even want to know, I had an amazing idea. What if I created a YouTube channel so I could convince myself and my loved ones that wasting money in pursuit of unboxing my first knife was actually just a healthy creative outlet? So that's exactly what I did. And on June 29th of 2023, I posted my first ever short, day one of a case a day until I get a gold item. Let's travel back in time so I can show you exactly how everything played out on the journey to unboxing my first ever knife. I'm giving away this StatTrak Factory new Ursus Knife Tiger Tooth when we hit 50,000 subscribers. If you'd like to enter for a chance to win, check out the community post. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Before I get into it, today's sponsor SkinSwap wants to sponsor you with a free case. SkinSwap is a trustworthy skin trading website where you can buy, trade, and even sell your skins for real money. They offer a variety of different payout methods and they're also always running giveaways. So if you want a free case, a chance at a knife, and a 40% deposit bonus, sign up with my link in the description today. Alright boys, there's no better way to start this recap off than to play the whole first short. Bear with me though because the quality of these first few shorts were pretty awful. Looking back now, it's honestly insane to see how much improvement I made on my overall video skills in just over a year's time. But I want to show you this one just so you get a feel for where I started on my content creation journey. This short is proof that literally anyone can succeed on YouTube as long as you're consistent and dedicated. So let's take a look at where everything began. I'm opening a case a day until I get a gold item so you don't have to. Today we're opening a fracture case. The case costs 70 cents and with the key and fees, I spent $3.34 total. Let's go. I got a minimal wear SSG mainframe, which is worth about 12 cents. In total, I lost $3.22 on that case. I told you, day one was really bad. I'm honestly surprised you were even able to sit through that. But more importantly, I got a blue rarity skin and lost my first $3.22. I knew I was in for a long journey, but at this point, I don't think I had any idea of how crazy it would actually get. Looking back on this one makes some of the unboxings I get down the line so much sweeter. From here on, losing money became a trend. On day five, I got my first purple, which was a Nova Wild 6 from the 
the clutch case, but surprisingly, I still lost about $3. On day 6, I got my first stat track skin, and on day 14, my first pink, but I just kept losing money. Around this time, I saw a video on YouTube advertising a tool that Cantry made, which let you check how many cases you'd ever unboxed, and it also showed you how many skins of each rarity you had unboxed too. I was so intrigued. I knew that the odds to unbox a knife was somewhere in the 1 out of 400 range, and I knew I had unboxed at least 100 cases in my 10 year CSGO career, so I downloaded the tool. I tried to get some shots of it for this video, but I sadly don't think the tool is working anymore. But I did find this screenshot from a video on YouTube. As you can see in the bottom right, the tool spits out an exact number of cases and items, and when I ran it, it said I had unboxed just over 200 cases in my career, and unsurprisingly, no golds. But what was surprising is that I had also never even unboxed a red rarity skin. I was over 50 cases overdue to unbox a red, and the thought of this rejuvenated me, so I held out hope. And on day 19, everything changed. Oh, oh, oh! Let's go, man. I got a field-tested USPS kill confirmed, which is worth around $58.67. In total, I profited $55.03. Boom, let's go. At just over 200 cases unboxed in my life, I got my first red and saw my first lick of profit. This lit a fire in me. And I was more motivated than ever to get my first knife. So motivated, in fact, that on day 31, I got a brand new mic and finally added a background. I'm opening a case a day until I get a gold item so you don't have to. Seriously, what was I thinking? Who in their right mind watches a whole short with a black background? Well, at least that era is over. I think Gaben was mad that he let me profit, though, because after day 19, I went on an extremely dry streak, losing money every single day until day 62 when this happened. Ooh, what are we thinking? Maybe Butterfly Emerald? Come on. I saw the pink go by. Come on, give me something. Oh! Oh, we'll take that! Let's go! Come on! Hey, it wasn't as much profit as the USPS was, but after 40 days of seeing absolutely nothing, I was ecstatic. From here, things continued on for a bit, as you'd expect. I kept losing money, and Gaben kept laughing in my face. On day 76, I made a measly 39 cent profit on this M4 Tooth Fairy, and on day 99, I was clearly starting to get fed up. Please! And let me guess, blue, oh yep. But day 100 came around, and I was trying to brainstorm ways to spice up the series. So I decided, from here on out, to open more expensive cases on certain milestones. And it was clearly the best decision I ever made, because look what I got from this Hydra case on day 100. Day 100. This is a $30 case. Give us something other than a blue. Please, no, the hellfire went by. <laughs> no. Okay, I was obviously trolling. Day 100 was horrible, but I actually do think the choice to open expensive cases on milestone dates ended up being the best decision I made in the entire series. Foreshadowing. The next 25 days went as you'd expect. I lost a few hundred dollars and didn't even see a pink, but day 125 is where things got weird. Day 125 just so happened to be October 31st of 2023, Halloween. Not only did I have my daily case a day short that day in which I got nothing, but I also decided to film a long form video titled the most profitable cases in CS2. CS2 had just been fully released, and I wanted to open some more cases on the new game. But I was already losing hundreds of dollars in the short series, so I wanted to at least be a little intelligent about what cases I opened, so I decided on the 5 with the highest ROI in the game, so at least I was losing the least money possible. And when I was opening the Huntsman cases, this happened. Place bets in the comments do you think we'll get a red or above today? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is my first knife ever! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, wait, I don't even know what to say. I just- Oh my god! I just pulled a knife. Ooh, that's insane! It's stat track! No, bro! That's actually insane! Oh, my case of day watchers are gonna hate me, bro! Oh, uh, now I'm never gonna get a knife in the case of days. Yep. That's right. At around 330 total cases unboxed ever, I opened up a knife on a completely different video. I couldn't help but think my chances at a knife in the short series were doomed. I beat the odds for a knife, but at what cost? Will I have to continue this series for another year? Can I even afford another 400 days of case openings? I was flustered to say the least, but I didn't make it this far just to quit, so I pushed on. And to add insult to injury, on day 156, someone in my comments convinced me to include a total loss counter. I know it's 
usually called a profit slash loss counter, but who am I kidding? To my surprise though, I was only down about $500 after 156 days, but that number wasn't getting better anytime soon. I just kept losing and losing and losing and losing until day 252 when this happened. Dude, I absolutely love these cases because even if we get a blue, we have a chance at the you know what Kami pattern. Oh, oh, insane pull! That's insane! Holy, one of the best pulls of the entire series. Let's go! Then, shortly after, on day 262, this happened. Pattern 909 Kami right here. We saw the we saw two pinks go by. The Kami. Oh, we'll take the pink! After I got that Guardian, I hit another dry spell, and on day 298, I had officially lost over $1,000. This knocked me down a few pegs and made me question the entire series yet again. Remember, in the grand scheme of things, I had just gotten a knife, and based on the odds, I shouldn't get another one until around day 730. I wasn't even halfway there. I couldn't help but think, is it really worth losing a couple thousand more dollars in the process? And after some thought, I remembered why I started this journey. It wasn't for the money, it was to satisfy a childhood dream of mine. No matter how cringy or not, this journey was for the 14 year old me sitting in my parents basement on my $400 PC who would always dream of unboxing his first knife. Money comes and goes, but memories last a lifetime. So I pushed forward. As you'd expect, I hit another long dry patch. I made a few dollars on day 329 with this Stat Trek pink, and on day 354 with this USPS monster mashup. But it wasn't until day 365 when I decided to open a weapon case one to commemorate my one year mark that I saw something truly special. One whole year, this is my first CSGO weapon case one ever. Stat Trek factory new, please, 661. Oh, oh my god, lightning strike, we'll take it. I had no idea how much a factory new op lightning strike was worth. That absolute beast shaved over $600 off of my losses and made me so excited to make the final push for the knife. Things continued on as normal. On day 391, I made a little profit on some factory new dual Berettas Marina, and on day 400, I tried my hand at a Bravo case. Needless to say, it did not go as well as the weapon case one did, but I had no idea what was sitting right around the corner. Then, on day 415, I decided to open my favorite case in the game, the Operation Breakout case, and this happened. I'm opening a case a day until I get a gold item. Today we're opening the Breakout case, let's go. Gold, gold, gold. This is my favorite case in the game and it will solidify its position if I get a gold right here, please. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh no, no. That's terrible, that's terrible. But we actually hit, we actually hit it. No way, that's so bad. Oh, I'm field tested, it's okay though, it's a butterfly. That's why we open breakout cases. Let's go, the journey is over. Day 415, over a year later, let's go baby. Let's go! We actually hit the butterfly! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! I did it! After 10 years, 600 plus cases, $2,000, and two whole video games, I finally unboxed my first ever knife. Surprisingly, when all was said and done, I only lost $164.54. But that isn't including the hundreds of dollars I lost opening cases as a kid. I got extremely lucky. At the end of the day, this journey was filled with lots of emotions. From close calls, come on, something good, oh, no way, to happiness, oh, oh, we'll take that, let's go, come on. And definitely lots of annoyance. Another blue. A blue. Another blue. But it was a journey I'll never forget. Thank you to everyone who supported me along the way. If you liked this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you want to be a part of my next journey, I actually just started another short series called A Case A Day Until I Get A Pair Of Gloves, where I'm not stopping until I unbox my first ever pair. So if you want to stay updated with them, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you there. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet, so go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.